Hey everyone, you here, back with another unboxing video, and today we have Wave 4, I believe, a 5-pack. I'm going to turn on the light just because it's a little dim in here. But yeah, pretty sure this is Wave 4, Wave uh, Brawler Pack, because it comes with three all-new Geo, or not Geogon, Bakugan, whatever these are. So yeah, you the Aquas Hyenix and Pyrus Insectra pack, which honestly both were pretty decent. Even the Bakugan have pretty decent stats. So let's just get a closer look here. And all of our good stuff. You can see Insectra is 2800B. Of course you got your 13 cards and 6 cores. And of course since it's Insectra you got the whole thing about Vylock on the sides. Ultimate Vylock. And turning around, you see we have Aquas Hyenix, Pyrus Insectra, Darkest Aratoa, Chaos Ninja Ton, and Ventus Behemos. Honestly, like, I'm excited to see these guys in person. But yeah, of course, again, three character cards, seven uh, cards, plus the two Geogon cards, three gate cards, and six cores. And I believe this is the international release just because you got all this little bit here. I don't remember if those were, uh, well, actually, no, just right there. It's like, yeah, that's international release, but yeah. Let's get into it. And as always, these five packs are a slight pain in the butt to open. There we go. Honestly, that was a little bit easier than the previous ones. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Wave 4, just because Wave 3 was... Chaos, Arcleon, Aquas, etc. Uh, Pyrus, Stardox, and Ventus, Babadrill that I have not gotten yet. So at some point there will be an unboxing for that. And then, uh, what was the last one? Oh yeah, Darkest Arachnia and Ventus, Ampfrog. That was the other one. So I'm pretty sure this is Wave 4, unless it's just unreleased Wave 3. But given the fact that it has three new Bakugan, I'm more inclined to say Wave 4. And we'll also see if it comes with GG cards or SG cards. That will truly answer the question. Set that out. I think this is just our toy battling game. Rule sheet. Uh, yes. I guess we can position the camera down a bit more. Without going in the trash, we got our cores. Get out the gate cards and normal cards. We've got a check sheet. Du, du, du. Set the cards off the side, gate cards there. Put the plastic ties on the geo gone. Honestly, I'm this makes me like I'm happy I'm doing this, because it's been a while since I've unboxed a uh, five pack. So slip out and sectors wings so it's easier to get out. There we go. And of course this can do the whole... Wow, that is stiff. The whole ultimate Vylock, of course. Just... So we have Pyrus Insectra and Pyrus uh, Ampfrog now. Just missing the other see, seven pieces. I ain't gonna do math right now. Point is, missing the other pieces. And Pyrus. Hyenix there, now you can see 2400B. So, only 400 difference from Insectra. Not bad. Doop. And... There we go. Honestly, I'm hoping because of these two, we get a new uh, Darkest Chaos card. Because I've been dying for more of those. You know, card packs aren't really a thing, so... Unless... That all stuffed back in there. Get that back there. Alright, I guess we'll take a look at our Geogon first. Got Aquas Hyenix. Honestly, pretty nice to have a fourth Hyenix. 
again, 2400 on the B, and just throw them up. Doop, doop, and that. Honestly, Hyenix looks nice in Aquas. <laughs> the Aqua symbol's kind of at a slight slant. That's interesting. And Pyrus Insectra. Again, Insectras are always pretty decent. The only downside with the Aquas one is its high energy cost. But I really love... I know I said this with Hyenix, but again, I love how it looks in Pyrus with Insectra. Again, 2800. And just close it up. What's one more Pyrus Geo gone for the collection, am I right? Alright. We'll look at the uh, Bakugan actually before we lay out the gate cards. So let's see. Cores. Green Fist. Uh, plus 100B. Aquas Pyrus plus 3. Okay. Magic Shield. Plus 600. Not 650, but still good. Another Green Fist. Plus 150B. Plus 2 damage. That's a very... Very good one if you aren't worried about gear reduction, but if you're running gears, you want gear reduction. Normal shield. Uh, Aquas Pyrus plus 400. Oh, that's good for the Geogon, at least. Another Green Fist. Plus 3 damage. And finishing off with another Green Fist. 100B Ventus Chaos plus 3 damage. Alright, I'll just get the cores set up there. And let's look at Aratoa first. Darkest Aratoa. That is a big magnet! Might be able to double core. Honestly, that's really nice detail. For some reason, obviously, it's completely different, but the detail's giving me like a... Oh, what's the Legacy Bakugan name? The... the I know which one I'm talking about, but I just can't think of the name. Percival, that was it. Yeah, the the details are giving me real Percival vibes for some reason. Right, let's see. Arrows that way. Right. Three, two, one. Bakugan bro. Can it double? Mm. Let's see. Maybe if it's on the edge. Yeah. If it lands in just the right spot, it can double, but not naturally. It looks like. Here's our toy. It's a tall boy. <laughs> you can almost see the B there. They should have painted that in black. It is 400 B. If you can, you can kind of make it out there. It really should have been done in black paint. 400 B. Does it have any manual parts? Nope. Don't. Doesn't look like it. That looks really nice, though. Uh. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's see, closing it, focus camera, focus, thank you. Just put the head down, that bit, sides, and push down. Yes. Awesome. And we'll set our toe off to the side. I should separate the cards, the character cards, before moving on. Okay, Chaos Ninja Ton. Another fairly decent sized magnet. Honestly, I really like how this looks. The hands give me kind of Demorg vibes, but that could just be similar molding. And I mean, we all know how I love new Chaos Bakugan. Especially when they're new molds. Alright. 3, 2, 1. Bakugan Brawl. Ooh! Love that opening. Let's turn it around. Oh, that looks so nice. And I want to see if how to close this first. Uh, okay, that's interesting. It's like hands down. That part down, and you got to make sure it tabs up there, apparently. And then the sides. Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty simple. But Oh, I love that how that opens. Where's your B power? There it is. See, they did this one in black paint. Why didn't they do it on Aratoa? 600B. I like. If uh, memory serves right, I think it has the magic shield. 
That looks so nice. Okay. We're looking at character cards after all of these have been popped open. Move a green fist over just to uh, make it easier for rolling. Next up is Behemoth. I'm probably not even saying it right, but I don't care. Love all that gray texture for the wings. You can kind of see how it's going to open. Alright. Three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl. Oh, that looks nice. That looks very nice. And turn around. Oh, that is so cool! Only 100B, so it probably has a... Actually, no, if I remember correctly, it does have a core bonus. Uh, let's see. Fist. Hands. Head. Uh, wings. 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 Yes, that did it. Because, you know, core Bakugan, they don't tell you how to close them, and you got to figure it out. But, yeah. Dude, I cannot wait to see this guy in other factions. That's going to look so awesome. have a feeling for the darkest, these are all going to be white. which That's just going to look so good. All right, let's look at character cards now. Yep, I was right. Ventus Behemoth. Double green fist, 100B, 8 damage, but land on a green fist, plus 400B, and shadow strike. So not too high, but that's good. And look at that really nice card art there. Alright. Oh, next up, it's not you. Chaos Ninja Ton, I was right, magic shield. Green Fist, 600B plus 3 and, and 3 damage. Again, look at that nice new lovely card art. Looks like he's ready to chop some uh, opponents. And last up, Darkest Aratoa. Uh, green Fist Shield, 400B, 3 damage, and plus 600B on a Green Fist. That's not bad. Bad. So let me see. Six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, looking at like eleven fifty. Uh, eleven fifty six or five, depending on the core you use. So honestly, that has some potential. I could just easily be uh, lying out of my butt, but I see it having potential. Okay, let's just scoot these guys over. And as stated before, we are no longer going over gate cards in full detail, so here's the first gate card. It's a Fangtanoid. Pause if you want to look at the stats. Next up we got Ventus Lupifion. Pause if you want to look at the stats. And Chaos Batrix, which this one we've definitely seen recently. So pause if you want to look at the stats. Alright, and Geogun cards are not on... T there they are. So, first up, we'll do... That's not your card, that's your card. Pyrus Insectra. 5 energy cost, 2800B and 3 damage. That is not that bad, actually. I couldn't remember what the cost was, but I mean... Five energy is still good. And lastly, Aquas I Enix. Oh, that was poor. I'm gonna do that again. That was very poor. After such the clean it's such a clean opening with uh Insectra. What? Man, am I glad this is not an actual brawl. Okay. Lordy, one more try, one more try, and then we'll just move on. Because I am quite interested in what those cards are. Good enough! There is Aquas in. Uh, not Insectra, wrong pack. Hyenix! It is 5 cost, just like Insectra. 2400B, 1 damage, but Victor, trigger team attack. I can see some potential in that, honestly. 
I love how it has like icicles. Oh no, those are water splashes. <laughs> they look like ice for a second. But the water splashes around its feet. That's cool. It has potential. All right, and moving on to the cards. Okay, so this is definitely wave four because these are GG cards. We have Sonic Abyss, three energy costs, plus four damage and one, draw one. Oh, there's no darkest chaos. Boo! Uh, Sonic Aura, three energy costs, plus six damage and scan. Bolin Blast, eight damage there are 8 energy costs, plus 2,000 B, and plus 10 damage. <laughs> Man, get that out with an air zero and you're sold. Razorfin, 2 energy costs, plus 3 damage, and 1 frost strike. And our last card is Torch Horns, 6 energy costs, 1,000 B, and double strike. Eh? Honestly, the only real decent ones are... These two, this if you can air zero it out, and Razorfin is, has potential. But yeah, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. If y'all have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts, all that. Uh, check out the links in the description below, all that good fun stuff. I'm, again, forgetting my own words. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!